Well, Sayyida Fatima is her name, and you find that she's the daughter of Imam al Kadhim, salawatullah wa salamu alayhi, the seventh of the twelve Imams of Ahlul Bayt, alayhi wa salam. And you're absolutely right, while people have gone on the ziyarah of Imam al Radha, alayhi wa salam, in Mashhad, and there are many who, for example, have gone on the ziyarah of the other Imams of Ahlul Bayt, alayhi wa salam. Sadly, there are certain figures who are neglected who themselves left a legacy behind for us and were a source of blessings for the people of that particular area. And one of them is Sayyidah Fatima known as Ma'asum Qum in many circles. Um, she was born in the 173rd year after Hijrah. Mm -hmm. And she died in the 201st year after Hijrah. So her lifespan was only 28 years. But when you look at her biography, you find that there are so many pertinent lessons to be learned. At the same time, there is a great amount of knowledge that's left behind. And also, there's a lot for us to be able to relate to from her life, which we can easily apply into our lives today, inshallah. Yeah. Interestingly, Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam discusses the position of Sayyidina Ma'asuma years before she's born. Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam is, of course, her grandfather. Imam dies in the 148th year after Hijrah. Mm -hmm. We said that Sayyidah Ma'asuma is born in the 173rd year after Hijrah. Mm -hmm. So the Imam in his lifetime tells Imam Al-Kadhim salam his son that you will have uh, one of my children who will be born, they'll die in the land of Qum. And that one particular child by the name of Fatima will intercede for all of the Shia. Imagine. Wow. So even before she's born, Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam, as we said, died 25 years before she was born. Mm -hmm. But he had already spoken to Imam Musa al-Kadhim about her birth. And not only spoken about her birth, but also mentioned the fact <coughs> that this lady is so great that she'll be able to intercede for all of the Shia, not just the Shia of her area. There, the tradition of Ghadir, I said to you, yes. it's narrated from Fatima al-Ma'asuma and her mm. sister Um Kulthum and her sister Zainab. Mm -hmm. From Fatima, daughter of Imam, Imam al-Sadiq. From Fatima, daughter of Imam Bakr. From Fatima, yeah. daughter of Imam Sajjad. From Fatima, daughter of Imam Hussein. From Fatima, daughter of Imam Hassan. From Fatima, daughter of Rasulullah. That on the day of Ghadir, the Holy Prophet raised the hand of Ali mm -hmm. and told the people, Alastu awla bikum min anfusikum? Am I not the mm -hmm. first in authority from amongst all of you? And they said to him, Indeed. Yes, O yes. Prophet of God. He said, Man kuntu mawla, fa'adha Ali mawla. Whoever I am the master of, whoever I am the first in authority of, now Ali. Allahumma wali man, wala. Wa'adi man, ada. One sort man, Nasara, Wakhdul man, Khadala. Oh Allah, this tradition comes <coughs> from who? Sayyidah Fatima Asuma. Oh Allah, be a supporter to whoever takes Ali ibn Abi Talib as their guardian. Mm -hmm. And an enemy to whoever takes Ali ibn Abi Talib as their enemy. enemy. And a helper to whoever takes Ali ibn Abi Talib as their leader. leader. And those who try to fight Ali ibn Abi Talib, oh Allah, be against them. Mm -hmm. Who is the one who narrates this tradition? Fatiman Ma'asum. Let me give you another tradition. Please. Ali, the Holy Prophet, tells him, And Taminni bi manzilati Harun min Musa. Oh, Ali, you are to me As Harun like Harun was, was to, to Musa. except yeah. there is no prophet, prophet after me. me. Ali is to me like Aaron was to Moses. Famous tradition. Mm -hmm. Who narrates it in that generation? Say the Fatiman oh, Ma'asum. The night of Mi'raj, when the Holy Prophet goes on the night of Mi'raj, no. she narrates from Fatima, from Fatima, from Fatima, the daughter of Rasulullah who says, my grandfather on the night of Mi'raj saw one of the curtains, one of the veils, it said, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah, wa ashadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah, wa ashadu anna Ali and waliyallah. And then later, she says that when he continued on his journey, he saw a curtain, and on it it says, Bakhin, Bakhin, man mithlu shi'at Ali. Mm. That congratulations, congratulations, 
who is there like the Shia of Ali? She narrates that tradition as well. Then there is another tradition that she narrates that Safiya, the auntie of the Prophet, peace be upon his family, was next to Fatima Zahra alayhi salam. <coughs> and of course, these narrations, Fatima Masoom was not alive at the time, but mm. these are the, this is the Isnad yes. from the ladies all the way and showed how many ladies were preserv preservers of hadith yes. in early Islam. And she narrates that Safiya, the auntie of the uh, Prophet, peace be upon his family, was sitting next to Fatima Zahra alayhi salam. And while sitting next to Fatima Zahra, السلام, she sees Imam al Hussein السلام, begin to uh, crawl and she tells Fatima al Zahra that shouldn't you wash him as he's now crawling on the ground? And that the reply was, How could you wash the one who Allah has decided to purify? Who narrates that? Sayyidina Fatima. Also, many times we assume a shaheed is someone who dies on the battlefield. Isn't that true? Yes, true. Many we Muslims assume that we assume have that assumption mm -hmm. that a shaheed is the one who dies on the battlefield. battlefield. Whereas you find that's one of the wonderful traditions from Sayyidah Fatima Masuma is the tradition Man Mata Ala Hubbi Al Muhammad. Mata ka Whoever dies with the love of Ahlul Bayt dies as a martyr. So here you have all of these traditions which are narrated to us from her and that's why it's no surprise. I remember Ayatollah Al-Mustambat, one of the grand scholars of Najaf, may Allah bless his soul. He mentions that one of the manuscripts that was found in the Shushtari library was a manuscript that discussed the life of Sayyidah Masuma. Mm -hmm. At a very young age, a group of people had come to visit her father, Imam al kadhim Imam was not at home. Mm -hmm. they, said to her father, they said to her, where's your dad? She says, not here. She said, we had some questions we wanted to ask him. Maybe when he comes back, we'll ask him. She said, give me the question. Mm -hmm. They said, what do you mean? I said, give me the question. She answered each question, Masha. theological, legal, historical. Look mm -hmm. at that young age. Because remember, she was 10 when her dad died. So imagine okay. what a sponge of knowledge she took wow. in, in those 10 years that she's already answering all these questions. The narration mentions that when these people got their answers, now they're a bit baffled at this moment because they're thinking, hold on a minute. Mm -hmm. This young girl's just answering <laughs> our questions. But then again, this young girl is not just any young girl. So they narrate that <coughs> on our way back, we saw Imam al kalam alayhi salam. Mm -hmm. And when we saw the Imam, he's, they said, oh, Imam, we had come to ask you some questions. He's like, you know, I was out. Mm -hmm. Forgive me. So they said, but your daughter Fatima answered the questions. The moment he heard that, he saw the questions she answered. There was, you know, that sense when a father sees his daughter has done something making him proud or yes. graduated or mm -hmm. got married. Or, combine all of these. He raised his voice. He said, Fidaha Abuha. May her father be sacrificed for.